What up guys, welcome to part 3 of our little iOS tutorial for the Facebook app, or the Facebook view per se. So for this one we are going to be doing drop shadows because they're fun and they look better. So to do drop shadows we need to import uh, some graphic crap. So let's do quartz, core, quartz core should have everything we need. Basically just gives us layer properties and stuff like that. So I'm gonna do this in view did load. We'll do it up here. Self dot top layer. Now we get this layer property dot shadow. So shadow offset. Uh oh, excuse me. CG size make. Yeah. So shadow offset, I'm gonna make it zero. Zero zero. That should look fine. Maybe I'll make a negative one zero. I haven't decided yet. We'll see. Self dot top layer dot layer dot shadow opacity. I'm thinking around 0.9. Yep, I'm doing it. Making this negative one. And I will run that for you. That is going to make things look a heck of a lot better. As you can see, we get this nice drop shadow. Uh, and in case I didn't mention it before, I don't think I did, but notice how if I push this over, everything looks smooth up top in this area, and that's because I added those two uh, UI toolbars on top of each other. If I didn't do that, it would look very odd. Same thing with the table view. It's because I made the backgrounds the same thing. So that's important to note. Uh, one thing about this drop shadow is it can cause poor performance so there's a cool little line of code to fix that that is self dot top layer dot layer dot shadow path and we're going to set that equal to oh, hold on what is the shadow path I forget the name of it the CG path right okay equal to CG path ref make um, forget it I'm stealing it we're gonna steal this code sorry for all those weird things that just happened there I apologize Cool. We're gonna go to our view did load in this one. This guy, this weird line of code here, I'll explain what it does. Okay, so we sold this line of code, and basically what this is doing is it's telling the phone that don't worry about rendering curves or anything like that I am a rectangle so do it and do it well and that's fine because we're working with rectangular views so this works just fine uh, if you were working with custom views or things that weren't rectangular you wouldn't be able to do this and there's a chance you could see performance hits on the iPhone 4, or iPhone 3GS, whatever um, so you're not going to notice a big difference now but I'll run it for you guys again. I mean, it looks pretty smooth to me, not gonna lie. Um, so that's about it. That's really all I wanted to show you guys. This is the basics of the Facebook layout. Um, couple limitations. Somehow Facebook has a navigation controller in here. I don't know how they do that, and I know they only do it with one button, it's the favorites button in Facebook. You click that and somehow they initialize like a navigation controller and then one view is pushed on to just this screen. Uh, I couldn't figure out how to do that, but honestly who cares, this is pretty damn close and you guys should be able to come up with some pretty creative things. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, let me know if you like the video, if you dislike the video, if you want an update of the video, I'd be happy to do it. Uh, please check out my two apps in the app store, I would really appreciate it. First one is Swipe Light, cool little flashlight app. 
Uh, uses all swipes, no buttons. I think it's kind of cool. And the next one is magnifying glass. Uh, I don't know. Just kind of helps old people read in restaurants and low light and stuff. I don't know. Maybe you need a little magnifying glass app. Check it out. Uh, the magnifying glass app uses techniques we went over in this video. So I hope you like it. Have a good one.